Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and today on the project, we're going to be doing another off-road lighting video. That's right. Uh, last week on the project, we popped in those six inch Z moon led light bars, but this video, we're going to be doing something different. Um, now, unlike those light bars where it required no additional wiring, no additional switches, we're going to be doing the aux beam led light pods and they're going to go somewhere in the grill. Uh, we're going to have to find a place to mount them. We're going to be running new wires and a relay, and we're also going to be installing a new switch. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to unbox them first, then find out a place to put them. All right, guys, here we go. My free gift from Auxbeam sent to me to do a review. These are the 4-inch side shooter LED pods. All right, 4-inch light pods. Now, obviously, you've seen these before in my other videos, so we're going to pretend that this is brand new. Ooh, ah, uh, <laughs> we got my beautiful aux beam sticker. It's actually reflective. I don't think I picked that up in the other video. And this is what it looks like when it comes in the box. Actually, it comes in like a bigger box and this is a box in a box. So yeah, all right. Okay, got my pods sandwiched in foam, excellent. And again, just like my Zoomoon light bars, these are pretty, pretty solid um, aluminum, I guess. We got a nice solid uh, lens here, and there's that side shooter. So when I wire these up, gotta make sure these are on the side. I wanna get my light blasting out that side. So very cool. Here is the second one. Very nice. Contact info, that's good. Customer service, what is this? Mounting instructions, awesome. Look at all this, see this is great. Very good. What else we got? Here we go, here's our hardware. Okay, <laughs> got our hardware. Let's open up one bag, one bag at a time. All right, great. We got our Allen key. Comes with the tools. Fantastic. Um, all right. How does this go? Okay, cool. Look at this. You can mount these over here or over here. They're bi-directional. I guess that is because. You don't know if this side shooter is going to be on the left or the right. Very good. Very cool. Boink. Aux beam. And the front says aux beam. LED light bar wiring harness. <laughs> and what do you know? This thing is exactly the same as the Z-Moon one. So... Let's get to the testing. So I got my my little bit more than 12 volts. We'll simulate the car's voltage. We'll do, it's probably right at 13.8, but 13 is fine for now. So let's see. Pod number one. All right, this actually has the ends left on it. How quaint. <laughs> All right, black to black. Now these wires aren't copper, these are aluminum, so I don't know. If you like copper wire, you're not gonna find it here. Boom, wow. All right, I like that. That's cool, look at that. You can see like the light just beaming out of the sides. Pretty cool. All right, that works. They're LEDs, so I doubt they'll work the other way around. Yup, doesn't work. So we gotta make sure we wire these up right. LEDs have polarity. The first one works. And, red to red, black to black, and boom. Man, these are something. All right. Well, they both work. That's very, very good news. Thank you, Auxbeam, for sending me working products to test. 
I like it. Let's go install these on the vehicle. All right, guys, so on Black Beauty, I like to keep everything uh, appearing as stock. Even though it's a highly modified vehicle, um, it's hard to tell uh, from a distance. Um, it takes a, a closer eye to actually see all the subtle modifications. Um, I always wanted to do in-the-grill lighting for uh, a Jeep XJ. I actually ran some grill lights in the original version of Beach Jeep using uh, cheapo LEDs from AutoZone um, just to get the wiring in place, uh, get my switch set up. But I never actually found a good LED light pod that I really wanted to use. Beach Jeep went down. Um, so it's kind of unfinished business for me to get these grill lights in place. I carried over the switch to this vehicle, but um, I think I showed you before, it doesn't hook up to anything. So yeah, we're going to get this grill off. We're going to take off these six screws. Uh, two in each headlight door and four in the grill. And uh, I'm going to play some overdramatic music to emphasize that time has passed. <laughs> Alright guys, we got our aux beam lighting and we are all up inside Black Beauty's grill right now. Um, trying to find a place to put these. You can see I have the trans cooler centered right in the middle. Um, I'm going to want to mount these to the side and I think to get these to fit in between the slats, I'm going to have to go vertical. Get them centered up in the grill so my side shooters will become a vertical shooter or a top shooter. Alright, so check this out. If you mount the bracket instead of this way like it should be if you flip it over and mount it backwards you get this offshoot angle so you could keep this on the same plane as the light which is kind of perfect in this application i could mount it right here or flush back here uh, the only problem i foresee is that if i mount it flush with this header panel support then um, the light is going to protrude out of the grill and i don't want that I'm going to have to find a way to sink this deeper towards the radiator to keep from hitting the grill. So uh, I'm going to go off to the hardware store and see what I could come up with. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we got our aux beam light bar. We got the bracket, mounting bracket, um, the included bag of hardware with the Allen key. That's cool. Take this out, dump this, and we got our Home Depot supplies. Woohoo! We got our big old nut bag, bag of nuts, 3 8 uh, by 16, coarse threads, and we got our 3 inch galvanized bolts. Uh, I forgot to take a measurement, so these might be too long. Uh, <laughs> we could cut them down, no biggie. And I got some assorted nuts and washers and good stuff. So, yeah, cool. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Now, what I'm going to do is I actually got, actually got a bigger, thicker bolt than what was originally there because if I'm mounting it hanging from the radiator support I don't want I don't want any play in here so I found that if I got a 3 8 bolt this is a much tighter fit in this groove I'm just gonna have to drill this out a little bit to get that in there so that's gonna be cool it's gonna be nice and tight with no play no slop and um, I'm gonna just thread a bunch of nuts on there to give that space I need towards the radiator so I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll go ahead and drill this out first. All right, guys, my vise is covered in crap and parts, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the old fist vise. Uh, don't try this at home. I'm using a glove, and it's probably a bad example. So I'm gonna hold this tight as hell, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a put a drill right through here and open it up a bit. Again, don't try this at home. I am not a trained professional. Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. Perfect. That's <laughs> a great fit. All right. I'm just going to continue assembling this. Thought I got some lock nuts in here. Lock washers. Hey, I did. <clears throat> All right. Moving right along. Let me go ahead and tighten this down. There, this ain't going nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. Nowhere! Where are you going? Nowhere! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take this setup and 
you know what? I don't like this lock washer. I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to use one of these little spiky star lock washers. I'm just going to go ahead and thread this onto the LED housing. Here we go. Here is our side shooter turned into a top shooter. And I'm going to thread down some of these nuts to give me the space as needed. Cool. All right, here we go. I got my hardware mounted up. This is how I think it's going to work. Um, I have this bolt all trimmed out with these nuts to give it some space. Um, if I just press this deep in here, I'm going to be able to slide the bolt through here. Actually, this needs to be cut down to size. I could probably lose a good inch off this, so I'll cut this off first. Then I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole here, and uh, yeah, we'll fish this through and bolt it up. Very cool. Alright guys, after referencing my setup with Black Beauty's grill, um, it looks like I'm going to have to install this light just slightly outside of that center line so uh so i could get these things kind of close to being flush in the center uh, not by much we'll see it might be a little off but it's pretty darn close <laughs> all right so i'm gonna start drilling some holes in here i'm gonna measure this up you know find the right spot to put them and then uh we'll go ahead and get that installed I guess they made a center line. Just gonna eyeball it. And I'm gonna want to be just over to this side of that line and this side of this line. All right, guys, when drilling anything towards your radiator, do not puncture your radiator. <laughs> it will be bad, okay? <laughs> um, all right. Pilot hole number one. This is fiberglass. You can tell by the white dust. All right. And same thing, nice and easy with the 3 8 hole. I got my Dremel and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take down some of this lip right here just so I could get um, the nuts and bolts flush against this tab. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so now after measuring this up, looks like I'm gonna have to cut about an inch off of this bolt. Alright, I'm gonna chop it. Alright, I just went to the bench, lopped this off, and whenever you cut a bolt, it's a good idea to thread on a nut. So when you're done cutting, you could just back your nut right over your bolt and it preserves the thread. So let's see if this will go on. Cool. All right, guys, check that out. That looks great. Look at this. I'm gonna put the grill on. I don't even need to cut any more of this bolt off. There's enough clearance and the grill still fits. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, guys, these things are mounted. Let's just check for fit. Cross your fingers, guys. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for so long in an extra. You guys have no idea. Oh, man. Thank you, Auxbeam. This is the perfect application. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to go wire these up. Now let's check out how to do that. 
All right, guys, check this out. I mapped out every wire where they should go, and this is what I came up with. <laughs> this wire harness is actually perfect for the XJs. So check this out. I'm going to have my relay really close to the battery because it provides a tiny little negative cable you could just attach to the negative battery terminal. Um, it's got this fuse over here and a short little positive battery cable right there that's going to go there. Um, so the fuse and relay will be right in this area. I'll probably stick them close to my HID conversion wires. Um, it sends this really long white signal wire that uh, goes to this little switch block over here. Looks like they want you to wire this through the firewall to connect your switch. Um, you got your negative for the switch, you got your positive for the switch. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this off somewhere over here and hook up the signal wire I already ran. So that's going to be that. i um, going to wire this up. And this wire harness also gives you just enough slack to fish through the header panel. And it gives you one set of wires for your first light and gives you another set of wires for your second light. All right. So I'm going to go connect these wire this up I'm gonna cut my signal wire connect it to the wire coming out of my switch and when I do that I'll show you the finished product and I'm gonna take it to the bench and I'll show you how I wired up my switches um, this way I don't have to take apart my switch panel I'll show you everything you need to know about the switches for this setup using factory Jeep switches um, in an aftermarket application okay time to get to work All right, guys, check out these bad boys. Oxbeam, you're looking good. I went ahead and used these connectors at the end of the light bars to hook up to this wire harness. So that came out real nice. I just taped the ends. Didn't solder this because if I ever need to take these lights out, huh, I'm not gonna wanna cut the wire. So there, that's plugged in, taped up, tucked in nice and good. Um, it's fished through this portion of the header panel. It goes right behind here. It was next to my HID lights. Um, let's see. The relay is on here. It goes to the fuse. Fuse goes to this terminal. Uh, the negative it goes to this terminal. And then the signal wire, the white signal wire, comes out around here. I tucked it in here. Now I just did a, a barrel connector, crimped it on here, taped it off just for now. Usually I solder it, sorry guys, uh, not today. <laughs> and then this goes to my signal wire. 
all the way in here and it goes through the firewall in and under the dash and uh, let me take it to the bench and I'll show you on the bench with other switches how I have this all wired up alright guys here is the aux beam switch that we're not going to use I went ahead and snipped this I could save this for another project down the road I always save everything that's why my basement is packed out with cheap parts and check out this this is a one two three four five six seven slat switch bezel it actually looks like the grill of an xj so that's pretty cool just noticed it um this i got for beach jeep there's a guy on ebay and he makes 3d printouts of switch bezels and i was going to outfit this switch bezel with tons of factory xj switches yeah, let me show you let me assemble one really quick all right, guys, here is a mock OEM XJ switch bezel setup. Now, what you would do to hook up these switches is you could take the pigtail to the switch and you would just cut and splice all your additional switches and wire them up to the harness that your XJ comes with. Now, of course, you would go orange to orange You'd uh, daisy chain all the orange together for illumination. You would daisy chain all the blacks together for your ground. And you're going to want to make sure you get the correct input to power your switch. And you're going to want to get your correct output to send your signal out. So this is basically what I have going on in my Cherokee. All my additional switches are all connected to the factory wire harness with the only difference being that signal switch that's different going out. So you can string up as many lights as you want, as many that'll fit in that bezel. Uh, I guess seven, since this is what I was going for. Um, on Beach Jeep, I was gonna have it all decked out. I was gonna do a 50 inch light bar on the top, on a rack, uh, you know, defrost, wipers, fog light, fog light. Uh, I got the extended idle switch and a bunch more spaces for lights. So, uh, <laughs> dreams for Beach Jeep one day. And uh, yeah, you guys, you know, the sky's the limit. Um, for Black Beauty, I'm just sticking with that one extra light switch in the grill, keep it sleek, keep it nice, keep it factory looking, and yeah, let's go plug everything in. I'm dying to see how it works. All right, guys, in case you're wondering, if I didn't show you before, the housing is two, about two inches wide on the plastic side, the lens side, they're about three inches wide, uh, cover to cover. Actually, this is the width because mine's sideways. They're, uh, they're four inch light pods sideways. So, all right, here's my four inch aux beam light pods. The side shooters are now top shooters. They're all wired. They are in the grill. And let's see, we're gonna plug this in, attach the terminal, crank that down. Man, these terminals make my life so much easier. And let's go ahead Try it out. All right, so again, they're wired up to the factory switches, so the ignition has to be on for these to go on. So here it is. Nice. There's my blue indicator, because I changed that LED. Let's go see. <laughs> it works. Yikes, those are bright even in the daytime. Oh man, that's so cool. All right, let's put this grill back together, get everything buttoned up.
All right, guys, that's a wrap for my In The Grill LED light pod video. Thank you so much, Auxbeam, for sending me these four inch side shooter LED light pods. They fit perfectly in the grill of this XJ. It's exactly what I wanted, and I wanted to do this for a very, very long time. So thank you again. Um, if you guys missed my last video, check out my Z-Moon light pod video. Uh, the Z-Moon light pods are wired up to the factory fog light switch, exactly how they came from the factory. Um, these aux beam lights are wired up with the included aux beam wire harness. Um, but again, I used a factory switch. Um, that's it, it's super simple. They look great, I love them. It's hidden in the grill of Black Beauty and that's exactly what I love about Black Beauty. It looks stock, although it's not stock. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a full review on all my lighting at another time when it's dark out so you guys can see exactly how much lighting they put out. Um, right now I got a head inside. I hear some thunderclouds in the distance. They're coming my way. It's going to rain again. But yeah, that's a wrap. Again, thank you Auxbeam. Uh, go check out the link in the description. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next product. Project. Oh, that's lightning. Thank you, good night.